So last episode, I talked about how idols start their career when they're young out of a need to build up their ability. It takes a certain amount of time. So one of the reasons why they start in their teens is so that they can build up to it and be ready by adulthood. So continuing with this discussion, you might wonder, why are so many people interested in this fandom? So one of the reasons why people end up following idols is this sense of purpose. Unlike any other form of entertainment, fans feel like they have some sort of control in being able to influence the career path of an idol. Or at least it's made to seem this way. Though we can have that debate at another time. So the main purpose of all this is to watch your idol grow. Watch them progress through the industry, see them improve, and to kind of be on board to experience the excitement with them. So for instance, like when they debut their first CD or something, they're obviously excited and you're excited for them. You're not part of the group, but you feel like their hard work is paying off. Maybe there's a scientific term for this phenomenon, like when a parent feels proud of their kid for something their kid accomplished. And then there's times also where they feel disappointed because of a letdown or something. So there's this investment in the idol's career because you are now part of it. I think there's a certain satisfaction that people will get by being able to look back and say, look how far they've come. And I was along for the ride all the way. I think most of you have probably had that sort of same feeling with maybe a band you like, or maybe a TV show that you started watching before it got popular. But the difference is, with idols, there is this avenue of communication. You're able to see them, sometime on a daily basis, and you're able to communicate whatever words of encouragement you wish. Now it's going to be difficult for me to come up with a good example, because everyone's tastes are so varied, but let's imagine that early in her career you were following Lady Gaga. And you went to all her shows and you talked to her afterwards. She knew you by name and y'all took pictures together. You really liked her music and you wished her the best. So flash forward today and now she's this big megastar. And let's say she still does these handshake events. And when you go see her, she still knows you by name and recognizes you immediately. And thanks you for being a fan and supporting her all of these years. Now again, Gaga might not be the best example because you might not give a crap about her. But I hope you can just see the appeal in something like that. We don't have this kind of accessibility to our stars. There's this dividing line that separates us. But because idols aren't stars, or at least not yet, there's this whole nother realm of accessibility. So it's like you can be on the ground floor of someone chasing their dreams. You can experience it all the way, and you can even possibly maintain some sort of familiarity. So I think that is the appeal of idols. Overall, that is the common thread that gets everyone involved. Now if you have ulterior motives, that's a discussion maybe we can have tomorrow. So we'll see you then. Thanks for listening.